What is type 2 diabetes, part 2? The higher your blood glucose goes, the more likely you are to develop symptoms of diabetes. The symptoms of high blood glucose include fatigue, blurred vision, frequent urination, and thirst. But many people with high blood glucose don't notice any symptoms. Often they don't realize how badly they feel until the diabetes is controlled. With or without symptoms, high blood glucose can be a problem. Having too much glucose in your blood over a period of time can cause very serious long-term health problems. High blood glucose damages the large and small blood vessels of your body and the nerves. Damage to the large blood vessels can lead to poor circulation, heart attack, and stroke. Damage to the small blood vessels can lead to eye disease and kidney disease. Nerve damage leads to pain, loss of feeling, and muscle weakness, usually in the hands, legs, and feet. Together with poor circulation and skin breakdown, this can lead to the amputation of a toe, foot, or leg. But these things do not have to happen. You can reduce your risk of developing complications by keeping your blood glucose in your target range. You and your diabetes care team will discuss your blood glucose goals and determine a target range that's right for you. Members of your diabetes care team may include your doctor, nurse educator, registered dietitian, exercise specialist, pharmacist, podiatrist, ophthalmologist, social worker, and counselor or psychologist, all of whom may be certified diabetes educators or CDEs. Together with your health care team, you'll learn about your management plan. It will include learning all you can about diabetes, making healthy food choices, physical activity, medication if necessary, and monitoring your blood glucose. Making healthy food choices is one of the best ways you can manage your blood glucose. In most cases, this helps you lose weight as well. One of the first steps you may take is to meet with a dietitian to develop a meal plan that is tailored to your needs. But this doesn't mean you have to go on a boring, uninteresting diet. It just means developing permanent healthy eating habits, habits everyone can benefit from, like total carbohydrates count, control your portion sizes, and choose fats wisely. First, total carbohydrates count. Carbohydrates are found in a wide variety of foods, such as breads, cereals, pastas, and whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and beans, dairy products, candy, and desserts. Carbohydrates provide your body with the energy it needs to do its work. When you have diabetes, too much carbohydrate may cause your blood glucose to rise out of your target range, so it's helpful to be aware of how much carbohydrate is in the food you eat. Talk to your diabetes care team about how much carbohydrate is best for you each day. Healthy carbohydrates like whole grains, vegetables, and fruit are high in fiber and tend to fill you up while not raising your blood glucose too fast, a benefit when trying to manage your diabetes. Learn what portion sizes are best for you to help control your blood glucose. In the beginning, you can use a scale and measuring cups to get an idea about portion sizes. Choosing fats wisely means eating foods low in fat, like skim milk, low-fat margarine, and low-fat salad dressing, instead of high-fat products such as butter, cheese, and whole milk. And substituting lean meat, skinless chicken, or fish for high-fat meat products like sausage, bacon, hot dogs, 
salami, and highly marbled cuts of beef and pork, fatty sauces, and gravies. Add fats that are heart healthy to your meal plan. They're called monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats and can be found in nuts, seeds, canola oil, and olive oil. Finally, stay away from foods prepared with fats and oils, high in saturated fats and trans fats, especially fried foods. You can bake, broil, steam, or microwave foods. For more information on what is type 2 diabetes, see part 3 of this video series.